So I make a couple drinks in and uh, what I would like to call a muse. You know, the kind of guy who just sort of fills up an entire space when he enters it and he's tall and he's smart and he's just more than handsome, you know. He takes me to his chick's place and it's a fucking rattle. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be crass, but her apartment is embarrassing to everyone. Everyone except her, I guess. And I don't mind, we're actresses. Like, it's fine, you do you. But it's disgusting. Don't use the restroom, I promise. So, okay, we are here for some reason. I guess he has an ax to grind with her or me, I'm not sure but okay, and so then I just noticed that all these people, I don't understand why they're friends. You know, they're a kind of person who, they just don't know how to spend time in the real world. You know, they're in their head. And I don't know how to spend time with a guy like him, you know, like a real guy, the kind of guy who loves a little rough and loves me. So I'm looking at my muse, he's sitting in this shit chair that he was offered and he's sipping whiskey in a paper cup. I just know that he has fucked the brunette because she's looking at him with, oh, he fucked me, eyes, and, and that's fine. That's fine, I don't care very much. But, I mean, who else am I going to talk to? That girl over there who's high as fuck? No. She's an idiot. I'm sorry. I'm really not sorry. I don't think she... Ah, oh, she probably doesn't know. Well, I think if she heard it from me, she would not learn. And her boyfriend is pompous and stupid, and he won't stop talking. He is talking so much, he is digging his own grave. And I would find it funny if I did not feel as though... Oh, I just wish it did not, you know, make me like my muse a little bit less. But it's fine. I mean, diamond in the rough, you know? It's just very rough. And not the kind that I like, so what is this? But I take my punishment. You know, he's having fun. I want to have him. So I want him to have that. But good God. And then I decide to have just a little fun with it, you know? If I'm going to be here and I'm going to be among these people, then I'm going to say what I want and I'm going to enjoy how stupid they are. <sighs> but you know, he's having fun. And that's nice for him. So I sit and I stay. Oh, and I say something about John Barrymore. Because I know that they will have absolutely no idea who the fuck that is that he spent his nights drunk and his day sleeping until he gets to go on stage again, ripping holes into the night. He's a dark angel, just like his son. And his son after that, 